And all of a sudden, I just feel a right hand in my eye. Boom! When I opened my eyes, I saw a five of him missing. <laughs> This is a soul for your production. Greetings to the Holy Spirit and greetings to you, my subscriber and first time viewers. Big up to all inmates, big up to all correction officers, big up to all my subscribers and my YouTube partners, big up to my families and my friends. Bless upon yourself and God bless you always. So today we continue on inmates and I'm going to speak on this specific inmates, the one who instigate my life. So this specific inmates who instigate my life also instigate female friend's life, yeah, my friend's life and also his brother's life. This is all that inmate be. So it's not every inmate is bad and not every inmate is good. Me know some of the pick inmates as bad and they are useless, they are worthless, they are them fit dead. Because me come out and me hear how some citizens speak and them don't understand that no. But it's these same citizens where them no know much like we who in a prison no and who even leave no that some of these same very hands them shake it no holy but the ones who are behind bars yeah they describe or depict as bad so for some inmates some inmates have him as good good friend because they are his friends why some have him as bad? For me, me have him as a tyrant. He, and why do I have him as a tyrant? This man is a tyrant against the authority. Him always have beef with them. Him always in a contention and conflict and even physical with them. I remember overseer calling and asking for a search. And in exchange explicit to the overseer and took off. I'm looking at it and I say, wow, this inmate only make things bad for himself. But as I said to you, you have him friends them way. Now go see when do as 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 bad. But others will see it as bad. Even the same specific inmate. Yeah. Created a lot of catastrophe in the prison and also instigated a lot of inmates life in the prison so for me he's a tyrant he's also an informer why do I say he's an informer I say he's an informer based on the fact that from the rank of correctional officer CO1 to a superintendent every one of these officers in this rank more I want to tell me how much the biggest informer in the prison is that specific inmate and what they explain to me if they define it is by when they call him upstairs and say listen if I want this information I want this who do that who do that or, you, or I'm going to transfer you or we are going to do this or we are going to take away your privilege or we are going to that, that this them tell me same sing like a bird and it's only them can tell me if he my informer because him sing to them and me know of a fact where him sing me know so he's a tyrant he's an informer and he's a gang leader for me and last but not least he's a coward I never come to that conclusion until my eyes caught something where my eyes not to see. It's medical record. Written in red ink. This inmate is a coward and this makes he do what he did. 
have a friend look upon him one day you know, and tell him, say, well, on, where you want me to afraid of you? Because what he likes, you know, he likes when people are afraid of him. So one day this inmate said to him, where you want me to afraid of you? Well, let me tell you something. Say, I'm afraid of you, they'll kill you. I hear him, Bridget, what that for? That no call for. But the other inmate is a serious inmate than him, and I call out. And he said, any way you make me afraid of you, may I kill you. Because I now walk and look behind me every time I see you pass or when I see you. So I want to tell you, so after you make that feel a temper in my life, you know, self he carried that grievance for over five years. And it spilled over into another institution where he was transferred to from Spanish Town. No, he was transferred from Spanish Town with his with both hands in plaster polish. And that is to confirm how the officers just couldn't take him behavior anymore and what he has done at that institution resulted for them to defend themselves according to their statement and subdue the inmate resulting both hands being plaster polish. No, we were at gun court. No, last video when I speak of how we instigated my life, we were at GP. And that was at in the year 96, there about. But 1999, I took a transfer. Yes. And I was at Gun Court, South Camp Adel Correctional Center for a couple of years until he came there in plaster polish. Now, my understanding is that it was his brother who asked for him to be there under the basis that maybe him can possibly talk to him and tell him to go on easy because he's the bigger brother. But it turned out where it couldn't work. He means to get even his brother's life. So anyway, while we are gone, me and an inmate stand up and talk. And all of a sudden, me just feel a right hand in my eye. Boom! When I opened my eyes, I saw a five of him missing. That is how far I carry the grievance. So when I open my eyes, I miss a five of him. I know the same dip in my pocket. I miss him draw out a ratchet, but it itched in his mesh uh, pocket sleeve. So I tried to tug it off, and he couldn't tug it off, so that gave me the opportunity to run. Me never have a knife because I never expect nobody to attack me a gun court. Me never have no weapon. So the only thing I can do is run. So when me run, his brother came to me and asked me what happened. He said, I don't know. So he go away back and come back and say, He said, I call up him name. He said, When? How? Where? Who? He said, With the guy who I talk with. So when he asked the guy, the guy said, We never attack him. That is another sign for confirm to me. He said, this man is a coward because he said, two away at all. And he just pint out me. The weak fence. And told me in my eye. But he never chose to attack the other inmate. He never done this. So. He make an attempt again at my life. Which resulted in poisoning my cellmate. I didn't know until that happened about 2000, two, 2001, two, and I heard that, that my cellmate was poisoned, 2015. And when I came out of prison, I remember a friend called me and said, I must serve that. And when I asked him why, he said, listen, the, the man poisoned every food in my cell. And I tell you, me didn't have the photo. My cellmate ended up dying because of this inmate. And based on our understanding, why do it? 
This inmate was the general secretary for the group who then call him Gun Code Cultural Movement. Now, this is the inmate who advocated and submit the names who, to the superintendent or to the officers who are in charge of the group to say these are the, the team that we have for the, the program. Now, for me, I was active as the band's leader at the time because the, the band's leader was working on the outside. So basically, we were the person who, was, who, who were to submit the names uh, to who will be involved in the program. So he want his name to be placed on the farm. So our question is, what we going to tell the authority with you do? We can't just put on the name like that. So we couldn't do it, we not do it, and him just not feel good about it. So he just feel saying to take out the both of us. Well, see me and my cellmate died. May his soul rest in peace. So we move on. Where is this inmate now? This inmate is killed. How was he killed? Was he killed in the prison? No. No. He was killed in the society. Now his sentence never up. He was awarded a weekend. Now this weekend program you go out Friday and K Friday evening three o'clock and comes back so Monday evening three o'clock. So he escaped from half that weekend program. Now when he escaped, the director of rehab at that time accused us of being are saying that we conspire because we should have known or we have known we didn't know no inmates are going to tell an ex inmate especially him not tell us about him he now going to tell no inmate because at the time they have inmate at gun coats and they are in pharma he might keep that to himself however my understanding and this is a fact the former commissioner at that time make it known that he will approve, take responsibility to approve his weekend. No, listen me good. He retired and did not approve it. What I tell him is that. Now this director of rehab at the time approved it. And when it was approved, it, up, it was approved late. So the superintendent called him that Friday evening and said, Alright, it's already late, as it was about after 5 and to go 3 o'clock. So we are going to make it go tomorrow morning. No, knowing this inmate, this inmate doesn't like things go against him. If him forget 5 apple, give him the 5, not give him 4 and 3 quarter. What him forget, him just want it. Him no matter what happen. And when things don't go for him way, a problem. And oh me say, him just accept that. Me say, eh -eh. me tell myself at the time, say, eh -eh. something not right. And me keep that to myself. Me say, this is me, now nah, come back. Me I tell you, me keep that to myself. Me suspect that. Knowing that him no flare up, now nah, nothing. Him just take it. It just leave me no doubt. It just leave me no other conclusion to say yes. He might go beat them, which he did. Thank you very much for watching. God bless you. Right there, I'm here to say, I'm here. This is a soul for you.